So, um, sir, you went to CVS today to buy what? Condoms. Condoms. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I know a lot of you might not be current with the news, so I'm just going to tell you their top story is that there was an explosion recently at the local condom factory. Oh. Oh. Conveniently, being a photojournalist, I have collected a small slideshow to tribute this awful atrocity. So, if you will look at my first slide, click. <laughs> Here is the condom factory. On an average day, we have the local condom priestess. She personally blesses every single <laughs> The condom shaman, because the condom companies do not cater to one religion. <laughs> A young boy buying his first condom. <laughs> Young boy to buy <laughs> <laughs> And the gay thoughts lurking behind <laughs> Next slide, click! <laughs> Little did they know something was brewing other than something was there. <laughs> A tiny penis. <laughs> of penises owned by this man. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's all right. I believe you, you do. You see, he had recently shown it to his girlfriend who would rather watch Nancy Drew. <laughs> but the rejection of this small penis summoned two ancient demons to do evil deeds to this condom factory. Click next slide. Here's what they did. <laughs> they assaulted the condom priest and shaman with all rage and fury, as the young boy said, No, wait, stop, maybe I can take some hands and bills or something. <laughs> <laughs> Click next slide. After the death of the priestess and the shaman. <laughs> and shunned his rage as she was admiring the tiny penis and she was eating the condoms the last meal. <laughs> but when he embraced his gay thoughts, he found a freedom. Click. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 